Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we have to do a couple of small, shorter videos this week as I am away from the computer, so if I do not respond to your comments or emails or messages or whatever else, then, uh, hey, we'll get back to it when I'm uh, back in front of the computer. But today we want to answer this question. Somebody asked, how in the world do you navigate that Debian website? <laughs> That's right. Debian's website is uh, definitely a horrendous mess. Now, believe it or not, they actually, they, they didn't actually build a new website. They put on a new front page, making it slightly prettier, but still almost impossible to navigate. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the brief rundown about where you can actually find your distribution. So let's head on over to the website. This is, I believe it is uh, Debian.org is where you're going to go. And of course, this is the new front page. Everything once you click on any link, then it's the same page as it always was, which has been a horrible mess. So the big feature now is we have a big button called download. If you click on this download, it takes you here where you can download the net installer. But not everybody wants a net installer. And uh, on top of this, uh, like if you click on this, you're going to get the net installer ISO. Here's your checksums. Uh, you want to do that. And then you can actually follow along here for how you can write the image and, and things like that. We have installation guides down here, and these are easy to find, and you need to find your, your system. Now, for the average person, you're like, what in the world am I looking at? Well, these are this is why Debian is so good. Debian supports nearly every type of computer system out there. So for your average user, if you just happen to have a computer and you don't know much about computers, you want to download it, look for AMD 64. All right, AMD 64, even this is not just an AMD processor. This is a modern 64-bit processor, a AMD Ryzen, a Intel i-Core processor, um, one of the... Um, uh, just any other type of basic computer that you'd get. If you have something like an ARM chip, like a Raspberry Pi, you can use a variety of the different ARM chips. i386 is a 32-bit PC, um, PC, and then there's a few other types of processors as well. So if you do not know what you're looking at, chances are you need the AMD 64. And then the install guide is going to basically follow through what we did on the video with all of the installation stuff. Now we're going to go back to the main page here because not everybody wants a net installer. I'm going to show you where to find the other installs, which I wish this download page took you to the different page. I'm going to show you a minute. Uh, before we get there, of course, there's just a lot of different things here about the philosophy of Debian. Um, the people involved in Debian. So there's just a lot of information on the site. Here's more information about the Debian community. And then this is more information on the Debian operating system, which is the same exact link as right over here. These two go to the same page. It's just that one of them goes to the, uh, the one side, one on the other side. If you're on mobile, the second link's going to drop you down to this column that is here on the right. Now, over here, we have a lot of information um, just about various Debian. Now, if you click this download, this takes you to a different page. The previous one just took you to effectively this page here. I think this page. No, it's not even that page. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a mess. All right. Debian's website's a mess. This one took you to its own custom page. Let me get out of full screen. This is debian.org slash download. Okay. Uh, which gives you that. If you click on the more and you have this, this download, this takes you to debian.org slash distrib based short for distribution. Over here, we have your net installer again. This is for your basic AMD uh, 64. This is for that i386, uh, which is the 32-bit. Um, and then we have um, uh, more information here. Let's see, here is uh, how to download it. This is the, uh, the downloading of the, um, uh, that particular image file, which is just as the net image. The net allows you to just download one smaller file and then you're going to install everything else on uh, on the from the internet connection. It's just going to get the basics and then everything else is going to 
download when you go to install it. You cannot try Debian with that image. We're going to get to that in a minute. You have your cloud images. These are will only apply if you're on like Azure or EC2. Um, of course, um, you can also, you know, DigitalOcean, Linode, we have affiliate links for those on the affiliates page on the website. Um, but uh, you can actually spin up Debian on those. You can buy a set uh, or buy a computer with Debian pre-installed. So here's a variety of countries where you can pick them up. Let's see, is United States in here? United States, uh, current builder, Emperor Linux. So there's actually a number of places where you can go and uh, get a computer that's pre-built. You can buy the Debian CDs. Uh, so there are various places where you can purchase your, uh, your CDs if you happen to want them. This is a good option, by the way, if you have a really slow internet connection. Uh, you can use these and you can download any package in the Debian repository from that disk. Now, of course, you will not get any updates that come out after the time you get those CDs, but it is an option for people who just need a good stable system and you have really bad internet, you're offline, you're not pushing stuff, you know, uploads anyway. This will allow you to install Debian in an offline situation and include uh, install any other piece of software you might want. And then our last one, the most important for our purposes here is the live. This is if you want to download Download a version of Debian and play around with it prior to actually downloading the system. Okay, so we have a DVD, USB, and then we have these ones over here. Um, so these are uh, the, uh, this is 64-bit, this is 64-bit. I am not sure if there's a specific difference for these or not. Oh, this one they're saying is a hybrid ISO, which you can use for your, uh, for your, DVD to burn it, or you can install it onto a USB. This one, I guess, I don't know the difference between these two. I don't know the good deal. <laughs> Just grab, grab the one that doesn't say torrent unless you're using torrent. That's what might be the difference. Uh, the other one might actually just be the torrent files, which is what it says right here. Let me just look at that. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. I'm an idiot. Uh, so these are just the torrent files. If you have a torrent client, if you want to download them directly, these are the files. Now, inside of here, what you see is a lot of files. The one you want is the .iso. These are the ones that has the, uh, the ISO. Inside of here is the various packages, log files, and things like this. You do want to grab a copy of the signing files. I usually just use these here and use the SHA256 um, sum uh, command and just verify based on whatever one I downloaded. That's what I like to do. Uh, and then these, the different ones are just the desktop uh, environment. So this one will live boot into Cinnamon. This one will live boot into Gnome. This one will live boot into KDE. Uh, we have an LXDE. We have a LXQT, Mate. Uh, the standard, which I think is Gnome. Maybe it's nothing. I don't know. And here's an XFCE. So you can choose any of those desktop environments to download. So if you wanted to test it out on a virtual machine or just uh, just give it a try before you install it, those are the ones that you want to download. So hopefully this helped you in navigating the Debian website. It is very complicated. If you click off the wrong spot, you're going to find yourself in a bunch of spaghetti pages of nonsense. Um, Debian does need to organize their site better, but hopefully this pointed you in the direction to get your Linux distributions that you happen to need from the website. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Tell me how much of an idiot I am for not reading that torrent. <laughs> That'd be fun. And uh, we'll see you guys when I come back next week. Have yourselves a wonderful time, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.